welcome back to Krugel and Outdoors. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of my Gamo Swarm Whisper Tax. I got this for Christmas and I was waiting for a proper, perfect opportunity to open it up on film. So here it goes. Some starters. There's the scope. It is a LC4 times 32 WRH. Let's set that aside and wait till we get to get out. Straight out of the box. It's completely assembled, all except for the scope being on there. And here we go. Well packed. There's no damage in shipping whatsoever. I've been wanting one of these for a while and we decided it's uh, time for me to get one. I've never had a quality BB gun or pellet gun and this is going to be added to my collection of firearms. Let's see, I'm missing something here. It's probably in the box. They're supposed to have a magazine for 10 rounds to go with it. And I'm not seeing. Oh, there's something down in there. That's a 10 shot magazine. That's so you could shoot one right after another without having to reload. And it has an indicator so you can see how many shots are in your magazine. Numbers on the side here and on the other side. And then on the top here, it shows you. I'm not sure if you can see that. On the top there, it shows the numbers. And when we made this purchase, we also ordered an additional magazine and a multi-pack of pellets. We'll take a look at this uh, scope and see what it looks like. I've had a few BB guns in the past, cheap little guns. Nothing that we can be accurate with. And this scope here is well packed. And it's... Comes with the instructions. And is wrapped up with some foam. Let's see what else we have here. little dry pack which you don't need comes with the allen wrench no that's not an allen wrench that's a that's a torx tip i guess that's for mounting your scope has caps that are see-through anti-fog i would say not sure one of them is kind of yellow so probably takes out the glare and then here's your scope this is it's a 4x32, and uh, we're going to get this mounted onto this air rifle, and then we'll get back to you. And there you have it. That is mounted in place, ready for us to take it out and do some sighting in. Now, I'm pretty sure they didn't have this mounted on here prior to shipping 
side it in and then uh, remove it from the firearm. So we're going to uh, go out here in the yard and set up a target and take some shots. I'll get back to you soon. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the pellets that I ordered. I got a variety pack. It's the combo pack. It has four different pellets in it. We have the match pellets. We have what they call them the country pellets. We have master point country pointed. And then we have the ones that they're calling the Magnum Energy Country. I believe the ones I'm going to try are going to be the Master Points. Okay, and we are going to load them in from the side that says load. We load them one at a time. And you put your pellet in, make sure the point is pointing inward and the hole is facing outward. And then you rotate it to the next one and you load your next pellet. And continue on. And load one at a time until you have all 10 pellets in your magazine. Now I've heard of people using what they call them dieseling. I've never tried that before but I may try it in the future. This is fairly simple to load and when you once you put a pellet in, you can let it go and it does not rotate back. It stays where it needs to. You don't have to worry about losing the spring load to it. I'm not sure how the internal mechanism works, which causes it to stay in, but it's actually working very well. Once it's fully loaded, it will not turn anymore. And then the top will have the number 10 exposed. We're gonna do the same thing with the next one. And then we're gonna go out and do some shooting. See you at the range. I have a couple magazines here ready loaded up and ready to go. I'm going to show you how I install that into the holder. You're going to make sure that the BBs are pointed the right direction, excuse me, the pellets are pointed the right direction with the hole facing to the rear. Slide it down inside here, push down all the way in place and let it click. Pull up on it, make sure it's lodged in place correctly. The trigger mechanism has a safety. The front trigger is a safety and the rear trigger is for firing. Push that forward for firing, pull it back for safety. Okay, I've already chambered one. I have a target 20 yards down out in front of me in the yard and we're going to take a few shots and see how far off it is. Well, there's three shots and we'll see where how the group is and what adjustments I need to make.
Well, the group is not real tight. I'm not real impressed with that. Yep, one here, one here, and one here. And I was aiming for this crosshair here. So I need to bring it down and to the right. I'm going to bring it down about 12 inches and to the right about 3 inches. So we're going to fire three more and see what happens. There's three more. Let's go check it out. Well, that's not much better. I was shooting at this crosshair. And we hit one, two, three. So we have to bring it down quite a bit more. I'm going to take a few more shots. We'll get back to you. Okay, it took me several shots many different tries to figure out what was going on with my gun and I discovered something I couldn't get a group that was any tighter than about four or six inches at 20 yards and it was very disappointing so what I did was I did looked at a few more videos and then uh, I took a look at what they call dieseling now dieseling is when you put a lubricant on your BBs or excuse me in on your pellets and while doing so it gives you more accuracy well there's made a huge difference. I'm going to show you my target. This is the new plate that I tried. And I was shooting real low, off-handed. And then I did a little bit of adjustment, and then I took out the heart. Then I did some supported shots, and I aimed for the O. I'm not sure if you can see that. I aimed for the O. In the middle of that word anchor I'm at 20 yards and I have three shots that are within a half inch so that goes to show that dieseling makes a huge difference I'm much happier with this gun now at first I was very disappointed but uh, now that I know what I need to do two things when you first pick, take your gun out of the box clean the barrel it has grease during packing, which will cause you to have poor performance out of your air rifle. And then if you diesel your pellets, you get very good accuracy. Well, that's the end of this one. And if you liked it, please like and share and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.